Hey everyone! Today we'll be working on two beautiful charms made of epoxy resin and wood. We start with redrawing two matching puzzles on a piece of paper and cutting them out as precisely as possible, especially in the joining. The rest of this shape doesn't have to be so perfect, but it can if you wish. After sticking them to a double-sided tape, we actually repeat the process of cutting while paying special attention to the joining point, as I did right here. Next, we repeat the process on the other puzzle. Once we're done, we stick our cutouts to the groundwork. I am using wood and resin one, which I've done in another video. Links in the description. When you hold your groundwork down, you start cutting it. I prefer to leave myself 1 or 2 mm margin. If you are lucky and able to use electric thread saw instead of manual one, you can cut it more accurate. Now it's time to give it a proper shape. I'm using small miling cutter not to scrub it off too much. I can't tell you much more what should you do at this point. Just be really careful and try to fit the workground to the edge of your stencil. Remember the rule that grinding less and checking results more often is better than piling it on and destroying your puzzle. I'm not showing you the process on the other charm. Of course, here we are grinding the raised part and there we will grind the re-entrant one. But except to it, it's really similar. After initial grinding we should change miling cutter to a smaller one, which will allow us to denip our charm more accurately.
after giving the first shape to our charm, we have to slim it down. It will make posterior grinding easier. As you can see, they start taking their shape. When shaping the rest of the puzzle, you don't need to be so careful, because these parts won't match. I was doing it off the top of my head, but to be candid, I regretted it. After grinding, I realized it would have looked better if I had done it with stencil. Here's how they look like. The three inserted one and the other one. For the final thinning, I'm using sandpaper because my table grinder was burning the wood and the resin started cracking, so papers seem less worryingly. using quite small papers gradations which aren't exceeding 500. We don't need to polish it again after rounding the edges because we will lacquer it after all. Quite important part. We have to do smooth circular movements collaterally to the reach of our charm. That way we will get nice rounded edge. And that is how my puzzles look after processing. As you can see I lacquered and gimleted them on my own. I believe you will deal with this task effortlessly. If not counting preparing the base, I needed about 2 hours to finish both puzzles. That's everything I prepared for today. I hope my creation appealed to you. Well, to be sure, I love the blue resin you can see right now in all its glory. That color is just beautiful. In one of the next videos I'll show you how to make a bracelet from those chambers. Thank you for watching and see you next time.